Hey guys, Deets and Ugly Studios here, and today I will be reviewing the LEGO Dimensions pack. This is actually my first DC pack, excluding this little bat dude that came in the starter pack. But this is the first one with the vehicle, so this is my first DC pack. This is Wonder Woman, the well-known superheroine, and her figure right off the bat looks amazing, but we'll look at that later. We're going to focus on the vehicle first. So this is her famous Invisible Jet. I never actually have been too much of a DC fan. I've always been kind of a Marvel guy, but I just really think this looks great. I love how translucent it is, even though the gray kind of does ruin it, but if it was only just covered by like a trans probably two by one like a jumper or a flat plate or just normal plate that would that would have improved a lot i might do that myself if i can find those i love the use of these bottles these are actually like the wine style bottles in the front those look great we have these dishes in the back they look great i love how it makes it kind of look like it's flying away i can totally imagine that flying up through the portal and then anyway here are the red studs those red studs kind of look like some sort of engine and I just really like how these fins look also. It looks very invisible. This totally works. I love how Lego chose to design this and just the way it looks. Next up, we have the minifigure. This is the famous Wonder Woman with her lasso of truth, which is in this amazing gold mold. I love the color of that. And this is actually the first time I've ever gotten a lasso piece. So this is a first for me, but I'm going to take that off. Uh, you can see she has the normal peach skin tone, a nice face, black hair with a little crown in there with the red star. Uh, I love how the printing goes around the side of the legs. That just looks great. But I have one complaint about that. See how that is printed on red? It's pink printed on red. That makes it look very pinkish and not match this peach skin tone, which is my one complaint about this minifigure. It also appears on the top of the chest here. Very nice printing. Looks very old, like reminiscent of the old cartoons that I've seen pictures of, definitely. Uh, there's the hair from the back. There's the back printing in the back face, which makes her look very, very angry. And then here's the plate, looking very American. Got the Wonder Woman symbol, some stars, and some red and blue. So if you've been watching my reviews, you'll know that now it is time for the final verdict. My final verdict for this Wonder Woman fun pack is... I'm not sure. It's see everything's good, but with the standard that we've seen everything for these Dimensions Fun Packs, which are all fantastic, that kind of makes it normal. Nothing really stands out. So out of seven on my seven point scale, I would grade it a five out of seven because it is normal, fantastic minifigure, awesome build, but nothing too revolutionary, and it's a theme that we have gotten before. And the minifigure that we've gotten before, although this is my first version of this minifigure I have. And it's going to be nice to see her in the upcoming Batman vs. Superman uh, movie. And along with this, I have to discuss the adventure world, or the open world of Gotham City, that you can explore in the game. I haven't actually played with this pack yet, but I have played with Batman through the DC world. And the DC world is huge. It's very expansive. I love how Arkham Asylum looks. But again, I'm not as well versed in the DC universe as I am with Marvel. But there isn't even Marvel in this game. So this is the only superhero world. And I like that a lot. I like playing through it. Lots of good studs to collect. And lots of fun little missions to participate in. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. 5 out of 7. And thank you for watching. Uh, tune into my channel, look at my LEGO Dimensions reviews playlist for more fun pack reviews, level pack reviews, and team pack reviews. Thanks for watching.